the Francis Marion Sumter National Forest consists of around 630,000 acres. With districts down on the coast, two districts in the center of the state, and another district in the upstate and the mountains. There's a wide range of ecosystems throughout the state, and they all react to weather and fire differently. For example, the drought conditions or the fire conditions may be at an extreme level in the mid-state, but you go to the upstate during the fall, and if the leaves haven't come off yet, your conditions are not as dangerous because you don't have that additional forced vegetation on the ground. A common misconception is when it rains at your house, you think that the forest or the woods in your backyard are wet as well. And a lot of times throughout the state, those showers are isolated. It's just not enough to actually put the moisture content back into the forest vegetation that it needs to really reduce the fire danger that's in the area. In South Carolina, some of the key things fire managers look at for fire danger is when the drought conditions line up with low humidity or low moisture content in the atmosphere and high winds. Those are key indicators for when we may have extreme fire behavior. So if you see a, a really dry day during a drought period of the year, pay attention, especially when it's windy. Those are days you really want to watch out and pay attention to what you're doing. So a lot of people say that there is a fire season and to a, to a degree that makes sense because there are times of the year when we have more fires than usual. However, in the South and in the Southeast in general, we have a year-round fire season. You can have fires year-round that are extreme just based on the weather patterns of that year or trends. The bottom line is you can have fire season any time of the year.